Alright guys, welcome back to another video and this time we are playing Transport Fever. This is our new daily. Oh yeah. So yeah, I have this time slot every day at 6 p.m. Germany time. I think that's 10, 10, 12, 12 ish US East or something. Maybe not the best time to release, but yeah, maybe we switch it around. I don't know. Well, we're playing Transport Fever. Yes, if you are a big fan of Transport Tycoon and similar games like I am, um, you were really stoked when this one got released. Um, and yeah, we have a mission here. Um, I don't know how long we will play it. Uh, maybe we can come up with a goal. Maybe you guys can help me out with that and tell me, hey, um, I don't know, try try to uh, reach so and so much money or whatever so all right guys welcome back to our new daily for now gonna switch it around in a while but for now we're gonna play transport fever and if you are a fan of transport tycoon and similar like I was always was this game should be right up your alley. It's about transporting goods around and setting up cool networks and stuff. And I'm really looking forward to play that game. So I have um, a seed I would like to use. I yeah, loaded a few seeds and uh, as you can see, world size medium, start date 1850. So we start way back with horse carriages and all that stuff and work our way up. Um, and to the year, I don't know how long. We will see. Um, there's, it's free play, so there's not really a goal. But uh, maybe we can, can come up with a challenge or a goal for us. And I don't know, maybe reach one billion dollars in our bank account or something. I don't know if that's even possible. Um, or 777 million, 777 <laughs> or something like that. And yeah. We'll go from there. So yeah, this is a North America map and um, first of all you should survey the map and check out what you want to do. Um, in this game you can use trains, you can use um, like all kinds of road vehicles. At the moment we don't have that many, it's pretty much horse carriages. Then you have um, like ships, later of course airplanes as well. So that's really cool. We start with 3 million, but we also have a loan pending. Yeah, that is the loan, the 3 million. We can take out some more money if we need to. And yeah, we should look for some some good chances for us to make some money. Um, down here was an area I liked already pretty much. Um, there's farms here, but there's not really um, like a food production plant or something close by. But here, and that seemed to be pretty decent in my book, um, we have two cities relatively close by and yeah, we have the farms here and a food plant. So yeah, I was thinking we kind of should start here um, by first connecting these two cities, although they are relatively far apart if you look at it. Um, doesn't look that far, but in the old days with the slow trains, it is um, yeah quite the distance so let's get going here um, passenger train and there's two different terminals a train station and a terminal station and I think down here we can have a terminal station and um, yeah let's see where we place that bad boy uh, there's there's different this is industrial buildings as you can see here with the chimneys and stuff and here we got like commercial buildings they want to have food sell food and here is most of the housing so I was thinking maybe we can squeeze that thing in here somehow um, so we catch most of the housing let's see like let's say if you go like this White shows you what areas are covered. Yeah, I mean, that would pretty much cover most of the housing and we, we have to pay a little bit because we will destroy one of the houses there, but um, it's worth it in the end in my book. So let's do this. This is our first passion to play night. Just heard a fire truck going by. Um, so this is our first passenger, sh passenger station here. 
right smack in the middle catching most of the houses and whatever we can't reach we will also need some public transport here just with this this will not be enough to make a profit let's go up to here and um, try to set up another train station um, yeah we will see um, I think a terminal station for now is okay. We can change that um, if need be later. But here it looks to me that most of the houses are up here. Um, let's see. Oh, where did it go? Come back. There is some commercial buildings here in the middle. There's a few houses. Up there's a few houses. There. Right here. So. If we build here, we catch most of it. We will have to knock out some buildings. It's some commercial buildings here. Yeah, this is one building being removed. I guess that's that's okay. Good. Basic work is done. Then let's go ahead and build tracks. We want to make sure we don't have too steep curves and so on that slows our trains down you know we want to have straight shots so mm, say we come up to here yeah that looks about right and then we also should come out here maybe like that and then connect these two yeah, that seems to be a pretty decent train track to connect the two cities. All good. All good. Okay, now we definitely need a depot. A depot is needed. This is where you get your trains and stuff from. Um, so let's say you place that depot here. It needs to have access to our rail, our rail network. Let's see if we can if we can connect that here or if the stupid street is in the way yep that looks about right okay good stuff now we have 2.27 million and I'd say we set up our first train connection here so right now there's this only this locomotive available. I have the time paused as well. And let me take a little sip of tea here. Mm -hmm. So that's what we got. That's what we got to work with. The Baldwin six-wheeler. Mm, we can give it a color. Let's call it, let's give it a red color. The red bullet. Bye. And yeah, then obviously we need um, passenger cars. So the this locomotive can go 40 miles per hour uh, not really fast and has a power of 60 70 kilowatts this weighs and it costs 45 grand a year so we we, we cannot go too crazy um 14 there's 28 passengers yeah three three that is that is the most we should do otherwise the train gets really slow and also costs us a lot um so yeah you set up a line tell them to go from here to there and back and you can also say oh, load uh, only you know wait until full and and so on but for passengers um, i think we are good like that so that's our first train being set up before we start the game up, we should probably also um, do some other means of transportation. I mean, if we click on here, we see we don't really cover this outer areas here. So inside the city, there should also be some transport. And those are the little money makers um, that will, yeah, pull, pull you over the edge. Because this connection um, for a start will not make that much money. Um, we can hook up the food um, we saw over there then also but yeah first we need to kind of find a, the right balance to make a, a bit of cash so um, 
Yeah, we wanna... What is that? Yeah, we wanna have a small... Let's say here is our... Let's see if we find one. Yeah, this is... This is very close to our... Our um, train station. And now let's say we do two... We do three lanes in here. One coming in from here, bringing people over there. One coming in from here, and one coming in from here. So, pretty much, let's set up, set up the stations, push them out as far as possible, like this, and um, then we get a depot. Obviously, we also need a depot um, to get our street cards from. And we should place it in a way the city can still expand nice. But I also want to have it a bit close to my um, yeah, train station so I know what's up. So let's say place that guy here. Okay, by road vehicles. At the moment we only have horse carriages. Later on there will be cool buses and other stuff. So yeah, let's buy three and road vehicle one. Oh, here it is okay let's set a line create a new line and this line's gonna be from here to there yep good road vehicle two set a new line and that line is gonna be from here to there. Yep. Looks about right. Yeah, I think we got that. Okay, and road vehicle three. Gonna set a line from new line from here to there so this city is fully covered now let's see if that works out seems a bit excessive but um, I think we should be able to make a make a profit from it here is our line overview that tells you what's going on and I'm thinking we should do the same over here also have some public transport going on so right now uh, we're covering most of the city but we kind of gonna try our try to set up the same grid here so first of all we need a depot let's just put that in here okay and then we're gonna buy now let's set up our train stops or our stations first so we have one really close to the train station, then we have one back out here, we have one back out here, and maybe one all the way down here. Okay, by road vehicles, horse carriage, one, two, three, and five, set a new, new line, this is from here to there then <coughs> that was which vehicle was it four okay vehicle five um, new line and that's gonna be from here to there and vehicle six also new line and it's gonna be from here to Central Street Station. Okay, so that's that for now. We've set up a basic grid of transportation and I hope hope that will work out for us somehow. And because yeah, the, the, the distance between the two towns is pretty long but I'd like to settle down here as I said because we have the farms and stuff. So we have a little bit of money in the bank um, I'd like to run that now. Let's run on full speed 
and see if that is some some profitable network we've been setting up here it'll take a while um, until people take advantage of our transport it's like we offer the service and people can take it may take it or not but eventually um, they would so our our train here we can see our lines we have running costs but we have them pretty minimized I mean we have uh, we have pretty much our few yeah horse carriages and stuff running around and we have this track and the train seems to be moving relatively fast let's check how, how fast this guy goes 33 kilometers per hour and the top speed of it was 40 so we're closing in in up to 40 kilometers per hour that is as fast as it gets for this guy and as we set up our track relatively straight um, we're okay and here you can see now we have the first passengers waiting so we have a guy here we have four passengers waiting at the train station so this slowly will build up also here in this outer regions eventually we will see some some people being transported here so far not really but the city already is developing here um, you, you always get city information if you click on here you know they need um, tools they need food they need all kinds of stuff and it depends in which area like the shopping facilities obviously you want to have food so you need to make sure to deliver them properly and industry needs machines and, and fuels and so on so aha there we go we see we have we have some transport going on there's people being transported around by us and eventually we should see some profits hopefully Okay, now we have a bunch of people waiting here. 13 people, better than nothing. Our running costs are thankfully not that high. You always have to pay at the first in January. So now we had to pay here. Yeah. Um, did cost us a little bit. And hopefully we can get into the win, win zone very soon. Okay. So far everything red, we're not really making profit. And right now in our passenger train we have three people sitting in there. That's not really amazing. Mm, but um, hopefully now when it goes back we can pick up a few more guys. How many people? 15? Yeah, that's, that's alright. Okay, and we made the first little bit of profit. Not great, uh, but that was our first passenger delivery here. So that's nice. Okay, the start is uh, pretty tricky in this game to kind of, you know, get going a little bit. But um, eventually it will happen. So, obviously now when we ship in people via the train station, they uh, part of them would walk out here. And, you know, later might, might be picked up by one of our connections here. So let's see where they want to go. Huh? There is the horse carriage coming in. Ah! They picked someone up. Okay. Yeah. You see our bus lines are slowly but surely transporting people around a little bit. We got two people in here. One guy in there. And yeah. The demand should grow over time. And hopefully those uh, bus lines will make a profit soon. Because we need that. We need the money. We need the money. Okay. Our main money maker is of course our train line here. But as you can see it's quite the distance. Um, and it might take a while. Until it really kicks in as a profit. Here is somebody waiting. It seems to be alright. Come on. Transport people. Three or four in this in this bus line here. That, that's, that looks good. Okay. Ah. Oh yeah, the train is fully packed. That's 42 people on the way back. Nice. I like that. Good, we're getting more transport. So, let's see if our other lines are also making a, a little bit of a profit soon. That would be really nice. The city is expanding. Pretty much where we expected, down here, for example, and that's why we have a little 
with a stop here. Oh, line 7 is almost breaking even here. Mm -hmm. uh, line 5 is turning a little bit. Okay. So I think we will see a profit when this train uh, drops off the passengers here. And it will be able to go back full again. And that is our goal. Um, to see if we can make a bit of a profit. Oh, line 5 turned green as you can see. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, that's making us money. Not much, but it's making us money right now. Green. That is what we want to see. Okay, now, train. Running cost of 67,000 at the moment and all. Yes! Profit, 133,000. Dropping off these passengers here. Nice. Okay. And here is more passengers to be transported around. That looks all good to me. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, line 5 is, is kicking in here, making a profit. And I think we should see sooner or later now that things are going okay. Good stuff. So, one thing we could do... Um, as you see, here is uh, like a, a farm. And here's a food processing plant. So we could uh, transport stuff from here to there. And then bring it to the city. Um, that is the question how we do that now. Um, either use train, but there, that will increase our running costs a lot. Um, or, you know, use delivery cars to bring it over there. Which will be really slow and you would need a bunch. But it's considerably cheaper. So... I'm thinking for now, as we don't make that much money yet and we need to get this thing going first, I think if we set up another train going back and forth here, we cannot really afford that yet. We need to make a bit more profit. Um, so, let's see. Is there something else we could do? Oh, yeah. Here, for example, we have a stone quarry and they would make building materials. We could deliver, and that's just smack in the middle of those both uh, cities here. That would also be an option. So carry stone from here to there and then ship it, ship it down into the cities. Where is the industrial zone here? It's kind of down there. Mm -hmm. Okay, and where's the industrial zone here? there I mean yeah we have these two options hmm but it seems yeah look at that line 4 is making profit line 5 line 6 not yet well, what there's people waiting they need to be taken downtown and our big money maker is of course our our big train connection. Ooh, look at that, man. Wow. 82 people waiting there. That's crazy. They really want to get on that train. Hmm. Okay. Man, line 4 is doing good for us. And here we have another train incoming. Making us some dough. Okay. Sweet. I think we have we were able to set up a yeah kind of a profitable base setup here, and um, I'd say we wrap it up for the for the first episode, and um, I will think about a bit what we're gonna do next. Either um, you know get these materials transported, and we need to think about an efficient way. I'm thinking a short train connection from here to there, and then um, ship it to the city somehow. Or we're gonna go for the food here. But here we could pretty much feed both cities easily. It's relatively short to get over here and to there. And with the food it's only short, close to here and we would have a long way to go up there. And um, right now we need to consider our trains are not really fast. So if you want to make money we got to deliver fast and have short paths. So that's how the game goes. 
I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, make sure to leave a like, uh, show some support, leave comments about tips and tricks if you want to. I'm not gonna pre-record too much of that so I can read through the comments and implement what you guys are saying. Thanks so much for your support. Thanks so much for watching. I see you next time. Bye bye.